All right, I want to show you some super cool stuff that's coming uh, coming to Flow. Uh, here I've got a very simple flow that basically gets all the lead records and passes them to a screen that's got a data table in it. And if we look at the data table, you can see that it's taking the output of that get leads uh, and it is going to display them. And if we if we basically run this, you can see that it's showing the four leads that exist on this org. Uh, so far, so good. Now, one of the, the problems, one of the classic weaknesses of, uh, of this is that the, this screen is not positioned to respond to changes. So let's suppose that we go to uh, Eric Smithy and change it to Adam Smithy here. So that's changed all right here, but it hasn't changed in the flow. The flow failed to react uh, to the change over here. But let me show you something new here. Instead of hooking up uh, that data table to the data coming from the get records, I'm going to hook it up to something else. You'll notice here that there is something else on this screen called data polar. And this is a new screen component, a very simple one. Uh, not a very fancy component. Uh, and what data, data polar does, if we take a look at it, is it lets you specify a SQL string. And you can see here that I'm basically, this is the SQL equivalent of what that get records was doing. It is selecting a bunch of fields from lead and it doesn't have any filters on it uh, or constraints. So it's going to get all the leads uh, and it's going to, uh, as you might imagine from the name, it's going to hit the org over and over polling uh, for this data. Uh, and I think the default for this component is currently set to every three seconds, uh, but we can change that polling frequency right here. So it's, it's polling for leads. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do something that takes advantage of a pilot feature that is enabled in this org called reactive screens. And instead of pointing the output of that get records to this data table, instead of doing that, I am going to point the output of data polar specifically, I'm going to grab its retrieved records output and pass that into the data table instead. So let's save this and run it. So we've got the, the old version and here we have the reactive version. And it just reacted, it just did its first query. So let's, let's, uh, let's take something like uh, this open not contacted lead status for Jana. Let's say that someone changes that to working. Watch over there on the left side of the screen. And there it updated. And we can go and create a new lead. and save that and it updated and there it is there's that new lead so essentially uh, every time the polling query finds stuff it's updating the reactive leads now polling's not very efficient that's not the ideal solution um, there are probably better ways we could do this with change data capture the point here is not really so much to focus on this data polar, although it's a, a healthy and useful new component that, that you uh, are welcome to install. Uh, it, but it, instead, to really draw attention to how reactive screens is going to enable uh, parts of the screen to respond to other things that are going on on the screen, uh, it's going to allow buttons to be placed on the screen that cause changes to visual elements of the screen. It's going to greatly reduce the amount 
of transition you have to do to cause things to update. Uh, and it's really going to be a big step forward uh, for uh, what you can do with flow screens. All right, let's take a look at this from the developer's point of view. Uh, what do you have to do to make your screen component reactive? You may not need to do anything. It kind of depends on how you structured the, your handling of data. Uh, in the case of the data table component, this is how its code looked like before uh, we modified it for reactivity. It, it was doing the work of loading the data in connected callback. Now connected callback is run when, only one time when the component first loads. So what connected callback was doing, it was, it was uh, establishing, it was taking in the table data in the form of a JSON string, parsing it, turning it into a table data structure. And then uh, much later it was calling a, uh, process data table function. Uh, and that's great, except that that only runs one time at the very beginning. Uh, so to modify it, what we did was we turned table data into a getter setter construct. And you can see that uh, we've got the convention of the underscore table data as the main property. And that is read through this getter and then every time that table data gets a new updated piece of information from the flow runtime, it's going to run this setter. And so this setter basically checks and says, ah, do we get some data? We got some data. The setter does two things. It, it updates the main attribute and it calls, calls process data table again. So it's calling process data table every time data comes in. Uh, and that's a good practice. Uh, that's basically what you want your components to do. Uh, if you do this for all of the things that are likely to change, you will find your component reacting very nicely.